Hello friends, so welcome to lecture series on multivariable calculus. In the last lecture we have seen uh, some properties of partial derivatives. Now we will see chain rule, what chain rule is and how we can apply it. Now suppose, suppose uh, w is equals to f x y function of two variables. Okay. Now first come to function of single variable, suppose we have uh, z equal to f x function of single variable and say x is a function of t, some function of t. Okay. So, if we find d z by d t, so it is nothing but uh, d f by d x into d x by d t. Okay. This is this is in uh, single variable function. If we have a function of only one variable x, where x is a function of t, then d z by d t or d f by d t is nothing but d f by d x into d x by d t. This is a chain rule for single variable function. Now, we extend the same rule for several variable functions. Now, here, here instead of uh, one variable, we are having two variables. Okay. And say x is a function of t and y is also some function of t. And we are assuming w, x and y all are differentiable functions. Okay. We are assuming that w, x and y all are differentiable functions. So, if we want to find out say d w by d t because because when you substitute x as a function of phi t here and y as a function of psi t here, so it will be a function of single variable t. Okay. So, instead of partial derivative, we will be having complete derivative dw by dt. <coughs> because we are having, because now w is a function of only one variable t. Okay. So, this d, uh, dw by dt can be written as, now w is a function of x and y del f by del x into d x by d t because again uh, x is a function of only one variable t here plus del f by del y into d y by d t. Because, because f is a function of x and y and x and y both are the functions of t. So, by chain rule we are having this expression to calculate d, d w by d t. Now, what is the proof of this uh, chain rule? How we are obtaining this? So, proof is uh, quite simple. Suppose, suppose uh, t is changing from t naught to t naught plus delta t okay. and the corresponding change in x is delta x, y in y it is delta y and in w it is delta w, this is an increment, increment in x, y and w. Because t is changing from t naught to t naught plus delta t, there is a change in delta t in, uh, in uh, t, in the variable t. The corresponding change in x, y and w are delta x, delta y and delta w respectively. Okay. Now, suppose <coughs> p is a point x t naught and y t naught because x and y both are the functions of t. At t naught, we are assuming that uh, this point is p which is given by x at t naught and y at t naught. Okay. Now, since, since uh, function w is a differentiable function of x and y, so, we can always take w as delta w which is equals to uh, which is equals to it is uh, del f by del x into delta x plus del f by del y into delta y okay, plus epsilon 1 into delta x plus epsilon 2 into delta y where epsilon 1 in epsilon 2 both tend to 0 as delta x delta y tending to 0. This is by the definition of differentiability. 
because we are taking w as a differentiable function of x and y. So, uh, so by that we can easily write uh, delta w as del f by del x into delta x plus del f by del y into delta y into this plus this and we are taking this at say point p. So, we are taking this as point p. Okay. Now, you divide the entire expression this entire expression by delta t. So, what we will obtain? delta w by delta t is equals to del f by del x of p into delta x by delta t plus del f by del y of p into delta y by delta t plus epsilon 1 into delta x by delta t plus epsilon 2 delta y by delta t. So, we have divided the entire expression by delta t. Okay. So, what we will obtain? We obtain this expression. Now, take delta t tending to 0. Now, take delta t tending to 0 both the sides. So, what we will obtain? Now, d w by d t at t naught will be limit delta t tending to 0 delta w by delta t which is equals to which is equals to this is equal to this expression. So, you apply delta t tending to 0 in this expression. So, what we will obtain it is del f upon del x at p naught or p. Okay. Now, delta x upon delta t when delta t tending to 0 is d x upon d t and we are taking at a point t naught plus delta f upon delta y at p into again when delta t tend into 0 delta y upon delta t will tend to d y upon d t at t naught plus when delta t tend into 0 when delta t tend into 0 this means epsilon 1 and epsilon 2 will tend to 0 okay because because uh, these are the function of delta x and delta y and when delta e tend to 0 epsilon 1 epsilon 2 both will tend to 0. So, plus 0 into d x upon d t at t naught plus 0 into d y by d t at t naught. Okay. So, this implies this is equals to del f by del x at p into d x by d t at t naught plus del f by del y at p into d y by d t. So, we uh, get back to the same expression again and it is valid for every p and every t naught. So, we get back to this expression. So, this is how we can obtain the proof of the chain rule. Now, we will solve some problems based on this first. Now, the easy way to remember the chain rule is by tree diagram. So, how can we obtain this? What is tree diagram? Now, you see, now you see uh, as uh, w is a function of x and y. Okay. So, this w is a function of x and y. Okay. And x and y both are the functions of t. So, x is a function of t and y is also a function of t. Now, uh, it is f and a function of x, it is x. So, it is del f by del x. When you take uh, derivative here, it will be a partial derivative del f by del x. And from here to here, it will be dx by dt. Okay. Again, here will be del f by del y and this will be dy by dt. Now, we have to write say d w by d t from here from this point to this point d w by d t. So, how can we remember that expression? Now, you simply multiply one branch, one branch of this is this into this. The other branch of this will be this into this and add them. So, simply this will be del f by del x into d x by d t plus 
del f by del y into dy by dt. So, this is how we can easily remember chain rule. This is called tree, tree diagram, okay. This we call as tree diagram. So, now let us uh, solve some problems based on this. The first problem is w is equal to it is x cos y plus e is to power minus x into sin y. So, here w is a function of x and y and x is t square plus 1 and y is simply 2 t. So, w is a function of x and y and x and y both are the functions of t. So, we want to compute say d w by d t. So, how can we compute d w by d t? It is uh, del f by del f or del w you can say you no know, problem del w by del x into d x by d t plus del w by del y into d y by d t. By the chain rule we can say this thing. Now, del w by del x is you simply differentiate partial respect to x keeping other variables constant. So, it will be cos y minus e raise to power minus x sin y and dx upon dt from here is 2 into t plus del w by del y. You differentiate partially this expression respect to y keeping all other variables constant. So, how, will how can we differentiate? It is minus x sin y plus e raise to power minus x cos y and dy by dt is 2. Okay. So, we have to compute uh, this value, this expression at t equal to 0. So, d w by d t at t equal to 0 will be. Now, when t is 0, x is 1 and when t is 0, y is 0. So, at t equal to 0, x is 1 and y is 0. So, you sim simply substitute uh, x equal to 1 and y equal to 0. So, cos 0 is 1, 1 minus e raise to power minus 1, sin y is sin 0 means 0 and t is 0 that 2 into 0 plus e raise uh, it is x, x is 1. So, it is minus 1 into sin y is sin 0 plus e raise to power minus 1 into cos 0 is 1 into 2. Okay. So, this value is equal to, so this is 0, this is 0, so this is 2 upon e. Okay. So, that is how we can obtain this value. So, now we will try one more problem based on this. Now, w is, it is x cube, x square sorry, plus 2 x y square plus y cube, where x is e raise to power t and y is cos t. So, again at t equal to 0, x is 1 and y is also 1. Okay. So, what will be d w by d t? Again by the chain rule, it will be del w by del x into d x by d t plus del w by del y into d y by d t. So, that will be equal to del w by del x that is 2 x plus 2 y square into d x by d t is e raise to power t plus del w by del y is 4 x y plus 3 y square into d y by d t is minus sin t. Now, when t is 0, this is 0. So, this entire expression is 0 and when t is 0, it is 1. So, x is 1, y is 1. So, it is, so it is 4. x is 1, y is 1, 2 plus 2, 4 into 1 is 4. So, this value is simply. Now, come to functions of 3 variables. Okay. Now, suppose f w is a function of 3 unknowns 
three independent variables x, y, z and x is a function of t, y is a function of t and z is a function of t. Again suppose that f is a differentiable functions of in x, y and z and x, y, z are differentiable functions of t. Then if you want to find out d w by d t, so it is nothing but del f by del x because now function w or f is a function of three unknowns x, y and z and each is a function of t. So, it is del w del f by del x into d x by d t plus del f by del y into d y by d t plus del f by del z into d z by d t. This is by the chain rule and the by t tree diagram also we can see this thing here w is a function of x y z function of x y and z and x y z each is a function of t. So, x is a function of t, y is a function of t, z is a function of t. Okay. Now, from this branch it is del f by del x and from this branch it is d x by d t because only one unknown is there. It is del f by del y and it is d y by d t. It is del f by del z, it is d z by d t. So, so if you want to compute d w by d t, so it is this into this plus this into this plus this into this which is this expression. Okay. You take you take the first branch first this into this, this branch this into this and the second and the last third branch this into this and add them. So, we will get the chain rule for this function. Okay. Now, let us suppose w is a function of n unknowns. and each x i is a function of t. Okay. And suppose you want to compute d w by d t. So, again by the chain rule how can we write this? This will be del f by del x 1 into d x 1 by d t plus del f by del x 2 into d x 2 by d t plus and so on plus del f by del x i uh, del x n into d x n by d t. So, that is summation i from 1 to n del f by del x i into d x i by d t. So, that is simply d f d w by d t. So, also by the t tree diagram also we can say this it is function of n variables. So, it is x 1 say it is x 2, x 3 and so on up to x n okay. and each is a function of t. Okay. Now, from this branch it is del f by del x 1, it is d x 1 by d t, from here it is del f by del x 2, it is d x 2 by d t it is del f by del x 3 into d x 3 by d t and from the last branch it is del f by del x n into d x n by d t. So, therefore, d w by d t will be this into this plus this into this plus this into this and so on up to this into this. Okay. So, that is how we can easily obtain d w by d t applying chain rule for n variables function. Now, suppose now suppose w is a function of x y z and x is a function of x is a function of say uh, r and s y is also some function of r and s. Instead of one variable now suppose and z also and z is also a function of say uh, say phi 
is also a function of R and S. So, in a, uh, instead of only one variable, now suppose x, y, z all other function of two independent parameters, two independent variables R and S. Now, when you substitute x as a function of R and S, y as a function of R and S, z is a function of R and S. So, overall this function will be a function of two unknowns, two variables R and S. So, instead of complete derivative, now we will be having partial derivative. So, basically now we will be having either del w by del r or we, have, or we will be having del w by del s. So, how can we compute del w by del r or del w by del s? Again, we can, uh, we can write chain rule for this function. This is x, y, z, it is x, it is y, it is z and it is a all other functions of r. If you want to compute del w by del r, so write only r in the bottom of the tree okay. and when, when we want to compute del w by del s, so write s in the bottom of the tree x, y, z, it is x, it is y, it is z and each is a function of s. Okay. Now, here, here it is del f by del x and it is also del x by del r because now x is a function of two unknowns r and s. So, instead of complete derivative, now you will be having partial derivative. So, it is del x by del r. Again, here it will be del f by del y and it will be del y by del r. It is del f by del z and here it is del z by del r. So, what will be uh, del w by del r? It will be equal to del f by del x into del x by del r. So, one branch is over plus del f by del y into del y by del r plus del f by del z into del z by del r. So, this will be basically del w by del r. Now, similarly, if you want to compute del w by del s, so that will be it is del f by del x, it is del x by del s, it is del f by del y, it is del y by del s, here it is del f by del z and it is del z by del s. So, del w by del s similarly will be del f by del x into del x by del s plus del f by del y into del y by del s plus del f by del z into del z by del s. So, that is how and that is how uh, we can compute del w by del r or del w by del s in such type of problems. Okay. Now, now, we will try to solve some problems based on this first. Now, let us suppose w is 2y into e raised to power x minus ln z, where x is function of t that is ln t square plus 1 and y is also a function of t which is tan inverse t. and z is again a function of t, it is e raised to power t and we want to compute d w by d t at t equal to 1. Okay. This we want to find out in the first problem. Okay. How can we compute this? Now, at, at t equal to 1, x is ln 2, y is tan inverse 1 which is pi by 4 and z is e raised to power 1 that is e. Okay. Now, uh, d w by d t first you write d w by d t then we will find at t equal to 1 it is del w by it is del w by del x into d x by d t plus del w by del y into d y by d t plus del w by del z into d z by d t. This is simply by chain rule. Okay. 
Now, del w by del x is 2 y e raised to power x and d x by d t from here is now d x by d t is you suppose this as uh, some function. So, ln ln uh, this is 1 upon t square plus 1 into derivative of this which is 2 t plus del w by del y from here is 2 uh, e raised to power x okay. and then it is d y by d t d y by d t is 1 upon 1 plus t square again plus del w by del z partial derivative of this w with respect to z no z is here. So, it is 0 and from here it is minus 1 by z into derivative of this with respect to t which is e raised to power t. Now, you want to compute d w by d t at t equal to 1. So, x is ln 2, y is pi by 4 and z is e at t equal to 1, you simply substitute it here. So, 2 into pi by 4 into e raised to power x is 2 from here t is 1. So, it is 1 plus 1 is 2 and it is 2 into 1 is 2 plus again e raised to power x is 2. So, it is 2 into 2 it is 1 upon 1 plus 1 that is 1 upon 2 plus. So, it is minus sign. So, minus will come and z is e. So, it is 1 by e into and e raised to power t is e because t is 1. So, what we will obtain from here so, this will cancel out, this will cancel out, this will cancel out and this cancel out. So, we will obtain pi from here and we will obtain plus 2 from here minus 1 that is pi plus 1. So, pi plus 1 will be the final answer. Okay. Now, similarly we can try for the second problem. Now, w is for second problem w is x plus y upon z x is cos square t. Okay y a sin square t and z is 1 by t okay, and at t equal to 3. Now, at t equal to 3 x is cos square 3 y is sin square 3 and z is 1 by 3. Okay. Now, you first compute d w by d t then we will compute d w by d t at t equal to 3. Now, d w by d t by again by the chain rule it is del, del w by del x into d x by d t plus del w by del y into d y by d t plus del w by del z into d z by d t. So, this will be del w by del x from here is 1 by z. Okay. and into d x by d t which is 2 cos t into minus sin t plus del w by del y is again 1 by z into del d y by d t from here is 2 sin t into cos t plus del w by del z is x plus y upon minus z square because 1 by derivative 1 by t is minus 1 by t square okay. into d z by d t d z by d t is minus 1 by t square. Now, this term and this term cancels out and it will be x plus y upon z square t square. Now, z into t is 1. So, it is equal to x plus y and at at uh, t equal to 3, it is cos square 3 plus sin square 3 
okay, because it is x plus y and x is cos square 3 and y is sin square 3, so it is 1. So, the answer is 1. Okay. So, that is how we can simply apply a chain rule to find out derivative respect to t or some other variables. So, this I have already discussed. Now, come to some more problems based on this. So, uh, we will compute say we will take first problem uh, z is 4 e raised to power x and ln y and x is ln r cos theta and y is r sin theta and the point is point is 2 comma pi by 4. Okay. So, in the first problem we have to find out del w del z by del r or del z by del theta at uh, 2 comma pi by 4. So, how can we compute? Now, here z is a function of x and y and x and y are again functions of two variables r and theta. Okay. So, uh, how can we find uh, del z by del r suppose? So, either we can make use of t tree diagram or we can write directly it is a uh, z is a function of x and y. So, it is del z by del x into del x by del r plus del z by del y into del y by del r. And similarly, if you want to find out del z by del theta, so it is del z by del x into del x by del theta plus del z by del y into del y by del theta. Okay. Uh, similarly, you can uh, write this by the chain rule. So, what is del z by del x? It is 4 e raised to power x into ln y into del x by del r is uh, 1 by r plus del z by del y it is 4 e raised to power x upon y into del y by del r is sin theta. So, so this is the expression. Now, this is del z y del x, it is 4 e raised to power x ln y del x by del theta from here it is 1 by cos theta and it is minus sin theta plus del z by del z by del y is 4 e raised to power x upon y and del y by del theta is r cos theta. So, now you can easily compute these values at r uh, at r equal to 2 and theta equal to pi by 4 because at r equal to 2 and theta equal to pi by 4 x is x is ln 2 into 1 by under root 2 which is ln under root 2 that is 1 by 2 log 2. Okay and y is equal to r sin theta, r is 2, theta is this. So, it is 2 into 1 by under root 2 which is under root 2. So, you can simply substitute x equal to this, y equal to this, r equal to this and theta equal to this and this and this expression. So, we can easily find out del z by del r or del z by del theta in the first problem. Similarly, we can solve second and third problem also. Let us try the last problem del z by del p and del z by del q. Okay. Now, here in the last problem what we are having? We are having z is equals to x cube plus y cube plus it is okay, minus it is uh, 3x square y plus 6xy square. Now, x is equal to it is a function of u and v which is u square plus v square and y is uh, again a function of u and v which is u square minus v square. Now, u and v are again function of two variables p and q which are given by u is p minus q and it is p square plus q square. 
p square plus uh, p q sorry. So, when you substitute x as u square plus v square and y as u square minus v square and again u as p minus q and v as p square plus p q. So, del z will be a function of p and q. So, we have to compute del z by del p and del z by del q in this problem at, uh, at p equal to 1 and q equal to 0. So, how can you find this? How can we first write chain rule for this expression? So, let us see. Here z is a function of x and y. Okay. We will first try to write down the chain rule for del z by del p and similarly we can compute del z by del q. Okay. Now, z is a function of x and y. x is a function of u and v. Here also it is a function of u and v and all other functions of p. Okay. And we want to compute del z by del p, we want to compute del z by del p, the first expression del z by del p. Okay. So, this is basically del f by del x, this is del x by del u, this is del u by del p this is del x by del v, this is del v by del p, this is del f by del y, this is del y by del u, this is del u by del p, this is del y by del v and this is del v by del p. Now, how can we write uh, del z by del p? Now, del z by del p will be given as now, first you come to this point and then you come to this point. Okay. So, for this point this into this plus this into this and whatever we are obtaining at this point multiply this with this. So, then the first branch will be over and similarly for the second branch and add them we will get del z by del p. So, what will be del z by del p? It will be del f by del x into whatever we are obtaining from here this is this into this plus this into this that is del x by del u into del u by del p plus del x by del v into del v by del p this first branch and from a second branch it is del f by del y into del x del y del y by del u into del u by del p plus del y by del v into del v by del p. So, this is by the second branch. So, this is the expression for del z by del p. You can see from here also that uh, f is a function of x and y and x and y are the functions of u and v which are in turn which in turn are the functions of p and q. So, del z by del x into into del x by del u with p and del x by del v with del uh, v by del p because x and y both are the functions of u and v and u and v both are the functions of p if you are talking about del z by del p. Similarly, for del z by del y the same expression here with y. So, is it it is easy to remember if you if we uh, draw a chain uh, uh, if we draw a tree, a tree diagram for the same. By the tree diagram we can easily write down such expressions. Okay. Now, similarly we can compute del z by del q, it is del f by del x into del x by del u into del u by del q plus del x by del v into del v by del q plus del f by del y into del y by del u into del u by del q plus del y by del v into del v by del q. Similarly, simply replace p by q, we will get back to this expression. Now, you can you can find out all these values from these expressions, substitute it over here and at 
p equal to 1, q equal to 0, first u is 1 and v is 1. When u is 1, q is 1, x is 2 and y is 0. So, you simply substitute all these points in this expression after solving this. So, we can compute del z by del p or del z by del q at p equal to 1 and q equal to 0. So, this is how we can solve some problems based on chain rule. So, thank you very much.